Okay, now I'm going to go like this a little bit. And notice you have the bird. There's kind of a little bit of a magic that happens because you're turning something that's two-dimensional without cutting or gluing, which are the rules of origami. You can create something three-dimensional. My name is Sok Song, and I'm an origami artist. I find that I can't seem to be idle. My hands have to be moving. So whether I get paper from my bag, it's just me just sitting there and folding. And I'm folding almost intuitively, and it turns into something. I'm working on a book right now with uh, Clarks and Potter, or Potter Crafts, which is a division of Random House. And it's an instructional origami book. It's actually going to be a very comprehensive, almost encyclopedic type of origami book. Very photo heavy. What I'm very excited about is there's one sp specific section that has to do with non-traditional mediums. I was with a corporate company working anywhere from 70 to 80 hours a week, climbing the corporate ladder. And I decided that wasn't what I really felt passionate about. So I decided to start my own greeting card business, which is Creased. And from there, it just blossomed into doing design as far as doing props and doing paper sculptures and origami for photo shoots and advertising. There is also this culture or this community in the origami world where it's all about sharing. For me, it's not just a pastime. It's not just a passion. It's actually my life. It's work, it's play, and it's just what I do.